Hi guys, today we are going to discuss what is method overriding in Java. This is one of the most important question in your Java interview. Uh, when you when you face the interview, you should actually know what is method overriding in Java. So let's go ahead and uh, discuss it. Oh, method overriding is when your subclass has the same method signature as your uh, parent class. So let's let's go uh, and check this in Eclipse. Uh, I'm going to create a class known as main test and we are going to see method overriding in action. So this is our main class. So let's uh, create one more class known as class car. So this is our parent class and then we have class uh, Audi. Audi is my favorite. So let's have Audi. Now we have two classes. One is car, one is Audi. Audi extends your car class. Audi extends car. That means car is your parent class and uh, Audi is your child class. Or you can say car is your uh, super class and Audi is your subclass. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one method known as public void drive. So this is where a drive method will print car driving the car, driving the car. So that is the implementation of drive method in the car class. In the car class, we have one method known as drive and uh, it is just printing driving the car. Let's have the exact same signature in our Audi, which is, uh, which is the subclass of car. And here I'm going uh, to write driving, driving the Audi. Okay. So just to keep in mind, I'll add some spaces that will give more clarity. Just to keep in mind, we have two classes. One is your car class. And then we have another class known as Audi that extends your car class. And we have same methods in both the classes. Okay. Now let's try to demonstrate uh, your method overriding using the main method. So what I'll do, I'll make car C equal to new car. And then I do C dot drive. So let's try to check what will happen if I make uh, an object of car class and try to call the drive method. So here you're making an object of car class and you're calling drive. So you guessed it correctly. It will call the car classes drive method. So let's see the output. Run as your Java application and you see driving the car. So this is what happens when you make the object of car. Now let's see what happens when I create the reference of car, but the object of Audi. So this is where method overriding comes into picture. Um, because based on the object that you create on the right hand side, the method of that class will be called if it is present. So in our case, the drive method is present in the Audi class. That means dynamic binding will happen here and Audi's drive method will be called. Let's see run as Java application driving the Audi. So perfect. So today we saw what is method overriding in Java and uh, how the object creation, object instantiation uh, affects the method that gets called during the runtime. So what we saw when we created object of car class, then the car strike method got called. And when we created uh, the object of Audi class, then Audi's drive method was called. So that's all about method overriding. So whenever someone asks you what is method overriding, it is also known as dynamic binding. So the dynamic method binding. So this is very important for your interview. And um, so if you are able to answer this convincingly, there are high chances of you getting selected in the, in, in the company. So that's it about method overriding. Hope you are enjoying this series where we are demonstrating everything live. If you like our video, try to like, subscribe and comment. And uh, if you have any questions related to Java, feel free to add in the comment and we'll come with uh, the videos for those questions uh, in the upcoming series. Thank you guys for joining. See you in the next interview question. Thank you.